My name is Robert Hansen, online known as Rsnake. Over the past three decades while under contract, I hacked into the back ends of over 2,100 banks, credit card processors, flight control systems, water and power industrial control systems, and much more. If I haven't broken into it, I probably know someone who has. Among other things, at one point, I was responsible for building one-third of all the top-ranked new web application vulnerabilities. But I have a problem. There are events happening today that are not being discussed, and we need to change that. Welcome to my world. While I don't believe that my career is going to end over this, I don't think you can take away almost 30 years of experience. I do think it's pretty perilous to do what I'm about to undertake, and I think it's very important. It's time that I start paying attention outside of my little sphere and start focusing on other areas and other things. I'm in particularly worried about people in their late teens, 20s, that have maybe gone through school, maybe gone through higher education, and still have walked out somehow with no education. They really don't know what's going on out there. They might get bits and pieces of it here and there, talking through friends or through other channels or other means, but they really don't understand what's happening. And that's, <clears throat> that's very disturbing to me. When I was in school, I really did not learn the things that I should have learned. I felt like I walked out of that with an education, but not the kind of education that you'd expect where somebody is really aware of what's going on in the world. I was indoctrinated. I was told certain things that I later found out were either completely not true or only part of the story. Entire disciplines really were shielded from me. And I don't think that that's right. And I think that that is the current status quo for most people today. I think most kids today are learning the wrong thing or learning only a fraction of what they should be learning. I think one of the advantages of having been in computer security for almost three decades is I get a unique insight into the world. I get to ask people questions and they really have a strong incentive to be honest with me. So I have had a unique ability to get people to open up and talk to me and that has given me a very strong piece of a window into the world that you wouldn't normally see. For instance, I can talk to people about things that would normally be very taboo because that might be their business to be doing something very taboo or they might be trying to protect themselves from some adversary that likes to stay quiet and nameless. I talk to people who are criminals. I talk to people who are the police. I talk to people in government. I talk to people in the street. I really don't care as long as I'm getting the truth. I think that I have the ability to pull out the truth out of some very powerful people that you may have never knew existed. These are people behind the scenes, people who you may never have any insight that they even exist. They don't have necessarily even credentials. These people may never even gone to school, and yet they control a huge amount of what you see and how you feel about things. I think it's important for you, the public, to see what I see, to get to see the conversations I get to have. And I think that will make you smarter. There is a strange silence coming from the media. They just don't seem to be talking about the real issues that face humanity. The death of journalistic integrity and the rise of the editorial and its replacement has signaled to me that there is a massive shift both in how people think and how they act, and I think that's very troubling. Why are we concerned with who's schnooking who? Why do we care what celebrities sleeping with or what affair they're having when there's so much more at stake, so much more at risk? For instance, there is a massive rise in autonomous warfare, and there's a massive decrease in the cost of synthetic biology, and it gets no airplay. China's string of pearls doctrine, or million grains of sand, or how about the pervasive increase in online censorship and the weaponization of social media outside of the voting hype cycle? These aren't things you see on the nightly news. The institutions in charge are failing us. They're just not doing what they need to do. They're not good stewards of the power that they wield. We either stop robbing from ourselves or we better start discussing the right Snapchat filter to capture the spectacle of the coming basilisk of our own making. 
If my words concern you as much as they animate me, you need to watch this show. I propose to engage in a very sober conversation with modern day sages as well as the adversarial community. We need to take this bull by the horns before it's too late. Mm -hmm.